we should be good to go. All right, so. Turn my side up a little bit. I'm probably gonna have to turn it down again after, but there's not actually any music right now. It's just ocean noises. Got to get the buttons down again. <laughs> okay. So, last we left off, the world is, of course, coming to an end, and we are attempting to save it. Uh, we have talk to some ghosts. We have started a band. Ah, there we go. I can I can I can use the uh, D-pad. We're good. It's been like three weeks since we've played, so I have to get the controls down again. Um, and now we are traveling with a bunch of coffee-themed pirates. So we have, I believe the last thing we did was we collected the, uh, Tear, um, the mermaid's tear. We're going to go talk to someone who can help us find them. Oh, here's some music. Yep, I'm gonna turn that down. See if there's anyone around to talk to. We can't actually, well, I mean, we can talk to Miriam and get back on the boat, but let's go, let's go turn in the tier if we can. It's over here. Oh, right, the boat lookout, that's right. And we're going to try not to go horse this time, because there's actually like 30 gajillion people to talk to. Um, at any given time, and last time I ended the stream after this, I was, like, my throat kind of hurt a little bit, so we're going to be drinking a lot of water. If you see me not drinking water or tea, please yell at me. So, I know why you're here. And listen, I get it. Hero stuff isn't for everyone. You did your best. Wait, wait, wait. I totally got the mermaid's tear. You, uh, really? Is that even possible? That's definitely it. So you can find the mermaids with this? <laughs> yes, I can. Here we go. Hmm. Can you lend me a hand? Like, try singing maybe? Hey, Faj. Yeah, this game's great. I love it. Okay, we need to resonate with it. Yes, I solved it. I'm totally marking it on your map or whatever. And as payment, I'm keeping this jewel. This thing is worth a fortune. I'm gonna have myself a nice pre-apocalypse vacation now. Yeah, ha ha. Sure, whatever. So, does this mean I'm a hero now? Uh, hmm. I guess it might. I'm gonna do another divination. On you this time. Let's see if you're the, really the hero foretold. Holy cow, there's no prophecy about you whatsoever. None? None whatsoever. What does that mean? I don't even know. Usually you at least see something. 
You're for sure not the hero foretold. But I guess you're not not a hero. Destiny just has no expectations of you at all. Well, good luck with that. World's still ending. I want to get out of here and to the beach. So time to scram, okay? Okay, but I can keep talking to you. Who cares about being a hero anyways? It's not even that cool. Being a rad fortune teller? Now that's cool. Life's what you make of it. And I'm about to make mine full of beaches and chill. You should be like me and quit worrying. You plan to stick around much longer? Clock's ticking. World's ending. Go enjoy yourself or something. And that is all of our dialogue. So yeah, our little bard friend here, who I cannot remember what we named, uh, it does not have a destiny at all. So let's go back to the ship. Hi, Miriam! Huh? What's that look on your face? Nothing. Well, I guess now we can find those mermaids, huh? Wanna set sail? Yeah! Tango Island. Oh, but our boat's not moving. Uh, hello? Where did everyone go? Nobody around. Da -da -da. Oh, that's not good. Oh, look, it's the grumpy guy from the bar. Aha. It's you. Did you tie up my friends? Yes. And I'm very sorry about that. But you see, I believe the reason my life left, left me was my finances. What I'm saying is, I'm poor. But I understand you now have a very valuable jewel. So you see, I had no choice. But to sneak onto your ship, tie up your friends, and demand it as ransom. What a jerk. I agree. This bozo has no idea what he's in for. I love Miriam. She's great. I'm going to blast him in next week. Whoa, wait, wait. Even if this guy's a jerk, we don't have to blast him. I'd honestly be okay with it at this point. Seriously, what a jerk. Ugh. I can see where this is going. Little Ellen wants to save the day without hurting anyone. But that doesn't work in this situation. Some dudes need to be blasted. Just give me a chance. Dirty scallywag. After all that coffee, the crew had a rough caffeine crash. He caught us napping. I'm still too tired for this. I always knew Marcus was dirty, but not like this. Gonna blast some dudes? Um, we'll, we'll see. You think you know a guy. We were so close to finding the mermaids. If you're gonna do something, do it soon, matey. <laughs> yeah, I just got punched in the face. Give me that jewel! I totally don't even have it! I don't believe you. Grumble, grumble. Can't believe I let this fool get the drop on me. Listen, youngin. I got a stash of stuff in the mess hall for this kind of occasion. Go do this right now. now there, I believe there's actually a couple different solutions to this. Um... Whoa, there's a bunch of stuff back here. Guess I'll take... Let's take a cup of coffee. Right, I gotta jump over that. From far away, I thought you were bringing the jewel. But that's a cup of coffee. Are you offering it to me? We have a choice here. We can drink it, or we can give it to him. I think I'm just going to give it to him, though. We're not allowed to drink coffee anymore. Oh. Well, thank you. I have to say, I'm surprised at this gesture. You aren't going to give me the jewel, are you? I really don't have it. I'm just not sure what I'm supposed to do. How will I ever win back my wife? She left without saying anything. I'm sure money was the reason she left. A man of the sea, I'm no millionaire. But the sea was my first love. I can't give that up. When was the last time you talked? 
last time we talked. I said some things I regret. That might be why she left. I'm not sure what I'm doing here anymore. I'm going to remove myself from the situation. Thanks for the coffee. So yeah, we solved the problem by just being a nice dude. Um, I believe you also have the option of drinking the coffee and singing him off the side. I think also you could just like, walk into his fist a bunch of times and like he'll just give up eventually. Ugh, peh. That guy was so gross. Thanks a million for dealing with that. Feel for that guy, I really do. Sounds like he's having a hard time. Still a jerk, though. Honestly, I could really go for some more coffee now. Thank you, matey. Now we can finally set sail. For the mermaids. Are you ready, kid? Not yet. Let's... I guess that worked. Good on you. What do you even need me for when you're so great? Can't believe the nerve of that guy. You ask me, he deserved a lot worse. But whatever. Youngin, you really did it. I'm proud of you. Even if you were a total sissy. <laughs> for your accomplishment, I'll cook up something real good. And a lot of it. You better eat it. I ain't like being out here in the sun. Being in my mess hall just feels right, you dig? I'll be happy to live out my whole life just on this boat. Alright, now we can set sail. Let's see, oh, I should look at the map? Nope. Alrighty! Is that what you're looking for? <laughs> Let's see, so we need to go there. Mermaid hideout. I was going the wrong way because I didn't look at the map like a dummy. <laughs> For your own personal amusement, you are welcome. I mean, to be fair, pirate talk is very fun. Disembark at mermaid hide hideaway? Yar. Oh, Captain Lucas isn't having a good day. Or, he's freaking out anyway. We're finally so close. You don't mind if I come with you, I? We don't know what we'll find here. They could have been imprisoned by a great beast of the sea. Or worse. But what's really terrifying? The idea of seeing her again. It's making me heart tear itself apart. <laughs> A little sound effect, though. Oh, man. Harshish. Were you holding your breath? I'm losing it here, matey. That was for you. Hi, Cub. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta understand. I've been thinking of this moment for years. It'll be okay. Even if it's not okay, it'll be okay. gonna kill me. Maybe I shouldn't do this. What? They really are in danger. What if I can't help her, matey? I'll be the fool, not the hero. You could be the hero. I believe in you. Whoa, uh, humans? Are you in danger? Uh, no? Oh. How did you get here? Well, I'm on a- I came to see ya! You with the red hair. Years ago, you saved my life in a shipwreck. Not a day's gone by that I ain't thought of ya. Your kindness and your beauty. So, I decided I want to spend the rest of my life with ya. Will you take my hand in marriage? Uh, whoa. You remember this guy, Mel? Hmm. Nope. After all these years. This is exactly why we hit ourselves in the first place. You mean you chose to run away? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you humans. And your demands. 
we couldn't, like, live our lives. But the thing I need is really important. I'm trying to learn the Overseer song to save the world. Hmm. I guess that demand isn't so bad. But, if we teach y'all the song, you gotta promise to keep this spot secret, you hear? Can't be dealing with humans up all, all up in our faces anymore. Are you sure? Everyone misses you. And I kind of promised I'd bring you back. Yeah, we're sure. Well, I guess we can agree to that. Okay, sweet. Come down here in front of the waterfall. We can make a whole thing out of it. Yeah, Captain Lucas is definitely having a bad day now. Dang, your voice is banging. Okay, let's do this. It's a really good thing it doesn't matter if I'm any good at this. <laughs> uh-huh, that's the song. Now scram. Hey, your friend. Oh, he's gone. I probably hurt his feelings. I feel kind of bad. He is kind of cute. And I know it makes me, like, such a cliche, but I really dig his pirate aesthetic. I guess he can come back whenever if he wants. But just to hang out. It gets kind of lonely here. One human to chill with sounds okay. Blink. Nope, let me out. I need to remember to drink. There's so much talking in this game. Hey, Miriam. Jeez, was the captain upset? Guess the mermaid thing didn't pan out, huh? Falling in love? Seems pretty dumb. Well, you got the song at least, right? Ready to head to the lost waterfall? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, Captain's not singing anymore. He's sad. Yar. Yep, Queen Chaos's nexus point is ahead. You know what to do. You sure you don't want to come with? It could be fun. Pass. Apparently all I do is get in the way. I'm fine here. What? It's not like that. Ugh. I don't need you to tell me what it's like. I don't even care. I'm just gonna chill here, okay? Go be the hero or whatever. Well, okay. What is it? You wanna get back on the ship? No, just saying hi. Hey, Lou. Youngin? I heard you was leaving. Be careful out there, you hear? Kid like you could run into trouble real easy, but you can always come back to us. Want me to cook you up something for the road? <laughs> something good, huh? Um, I'll be okay. Thanks. Mm. You brought something good to us, youngin. We all love singing, but we ain't a choir of angels, you hear? You made us sound real good, though. We'll miss you. Yo-ho-ho and a bag of Oreos. <laughs> you want a 
over here. That's a nope. I could go for some Oreos. I'm hungry. I just ate, but I'm hungry. <laughs> when you first showed up on our boat, I was sure you were going to be a huge nuisance. And I was right. But I'll miss you anyway. Good luck on whatever strange, silly thing you're doing next. Hey, before you go, be honest. Do you think I have a scary face? No? Ha, huh, okay. I feel like I do. But it's hard to get a straight answer from people. Sorry if it's weird to ask that now. I just always wonder. Okay, see ya. You really left an impression on this crew. I think even grumpy old Francis warmed up to you. Please stop calling me Francis. And old. See, he doesn't even like me yet. And I'm very charming. Bye forever. Just kidding. You'll come back, right? Maybe I'll actually get 3,000 beans to sweeten the deal. Okay, just kidding again. We spend a lot of time at sea, so we don't make many friends. It was nice having you around. Hey. Ditching us, huh? Well, I have to go save the world. Man. You're so cool. Well, bye. And stuff. I suck at saying bye. Come hang out with us again someday. Good luck on your cool adventure. We'll miss you and stuff. Well, matey, we had a good run, I... Even if we're both losers. At least we're losers together. Oh, yeah. Actually, the mermaid said you could come back whenevs. Whenevs, you say? What does that mean? I think it means anytime. <laughs> Guess my salty charm worked on her sweetheart after all. Thank you, matey. You made my wildest dreams come true. Even if you couldn't bring the mermaids back, you're a hero to me. Nah. Heh heh, so she likes me. She didn't say that. Heh. <laughs> Good luck on your journey, matey. <laughs> I think, yep. Yeah. Now we have to do this again, sorry. I'm so bad at it. There we go. <laughs> it's not the most intuitive uh, selection mechanic. Whoosh. It all the wiggles. Drink some RT. You may think I'm just a lowly fish, but I am in fact also a key. If you see me floating about, please bring me along to locked doors. You'll find I'm much more handy than the average fish. Beast seems kind of fish key. <laughs> I 
Goodbye, little fish. This is, this is, yeah, this is, oh, no, 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 see, oh, hey, my, my accident paid off. Hi, Chaos Fairy. If I can ask, are you here to meet Queen Chaos? Is that the Overseer? Yes. She has a really cool name. I'm her little helper, so to speak, but she's been acting very odd of late. Every Overseer I've met has been acting weird. Hmm. Nope, let me out. Nope. Let me go. Come on, do something. Okay. Nope, don't do that. No, I think I need to go back. Um Nope, that is the door. Okay, so I need to go forward. Sure. <laughs> nope. Right in the drink. Okay. Nope. There you are. Have you wondered why the overseers are acting strangely? Aren't they supposed to? No. Something is very wrong. It's a sign of the end times. Oh. That sounds bad. Yeah, I made it. Okay. Did not make it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, I made it. part honestly requires a lot of concentration okay come on
Yeah, I made it. Okay. So there's stuff down and there's stuff up. Oh, up is the door. Okay. Hi. Oh, I made it. Okay. There was something to land on. The overseers are born as perfect beings. They embody the natural forces that sustain our world. But as the universe grows old, they grow unhappy, lose their way. Their corruption slowly spreads. And so the world begins disintegrating as well. Hmm, sounds pretty bad. <laughs> I'm really glad this is a game with no lives. Any configuration I can climb on top of. Made it, okay. Phew. Harder than it should have been. <laughs> Finally, yeah, okay. Here's the castle. Yay, castle! Okay. So tell me, are you here to complete the ritual? I don't know what that is. I'm going to learn another song. Oh. I see. Well, never mind. Go ahead and enter. Queen Chaos may prove hard to deal with, but just follow her rules and treat her politely, and she will do what you ask. You've come so far with my help. I hope I was able to prove that I truly am more handy than the average fish. I love the little fairy creatures. They're all so weird. Well, that's not good. 
D did you just kill the overseer? Who are you? The name is Audrey Redheart. And I'm the hero. The hero? That's right, the hero, chosen by Aya on a quest to defeat the seven overseers and rid the world of evil. Wait, I don't think you understand. I am on a quest to meet the overseers, to learn the Earth Song. Aya already picked me. No. You definitely don't understand, little bard. What? What is going on? Um, well, basically, the Earth Song isn't gonna work. It won't? No. In every cycle of the universe, every single time, it's never worked. The world is too filled with discord, especially when it gets this old. And that's where I come in, to destroy each overseer and free the world of their corruption. And that is gonna save the world? No. The overseers hold your whole world together, but when they get old and messed up like this, there's no way to fix them. The moment the last one dies, that's how the world ends. So the next cycles can start. Sorry. I know it sounds sad, but that's the way it's supposed to be. Possibly? I don't know, Rhino. Um, I didn't really think you'd make it this far. So I was supposed to give up and just let the world end? Why'd you even tell me about the Earth Song in the first place? Because I really like you, and I didn't want to tell you no. I still don't. But I have to be realistic. I'm an angel of Ea and the guide to the hero. My job is to usher in the end and pave the way for a new beginning. Sheesh, quit being such a baby. This is just the way it works. You really thought you could sing some song and solve everything? How about you leave it to the real heroes? How about you leave the shutting up to you? Oh no, wait. Don't. up. It looked like something went wrong. So I came, um... Are you okay? No. I'm not the hero, Miriam. I'm not cool or strong or anything. And I thought I could save the world, but I can't. So, I'm just gonna lie here. Forever. And everyone will forget about me. And then the world's gonna end. That's dumb. You're being really dumb. Nobody ever thought you were a hero anyway. That doesn't make me feel better at all. I mean, that's not what's good about you. You're good because you're always happy and singy. I wish I was like that. I'm grumpy and useless. You make everything better by being happy at it. Well, I'm not happy now. Sing to them, stab them, either way the world ends and starts over, or something. Even if we wanted to learn the Earth Song, we can't now that an, that an overseer is dead. Actually, no. You could talk to ghosts, right? Huh? There's still something here. Something's here? Yeah, I don't know. All around here. There's some kind of spirit. Come on, do your bardy thing and sing. Come on, you can do it. Are you going to make me stand here forever? Come on. So we're clearly still a, a little sore. Can't dance, can't jump, just limp. <laughs>
There we go. It's a little hard to match them up sometimes. I guess. Act four. Oh, now we're Audrey. She she can wait a sec. I need water. Or beverage. This game's a little rough on the throat. first time I played this, I did not want to play as uh, Audrey, so I just kind of like threw her into the first pit I found, but the game wouldn't let me continue until I actually went through it. Audrey, don't forget, you can point your sword straight up to charge it with lightning. Ugh, shut up. I would have figured that out myself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Now, I believe the funny thing about this segment is that if you're actually playing it on Steam, um, this is one of the few points where you actually can get achievements in the game. Oh, great. Another human. You here to be all loud and annoying like the last one? That sure was a riot. That lo a lot of good they did. Queen of the Winds is doing just awful, if you were wondering. Acting all dark and spooky. She keeps birthing monsters. Well, that... It's so gross. She's getting worse every day. This place just isn't the same anymore. Ark, shut up! 
I'm here to take care of the Queen of Winds. Tell me where she's hiding. Like, take care of? Oh, jeez. Well, I am obligated to stop you. Shut up. Okay. I see where this is going, and I don't want to be here for it. Just try not to make it painful for her, you know? She's really so sweet. Or she used to be. Spooky noises. Of course, in this form, she just looks like a chicken. <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, see, the funny thing is, is when you, when you uh, visit her as, you know, the bard, um, you can understand her because you've uh, already learned how to speak the language of the spirits or whatever. But she clearly has not been given that power. So all she sees is a big scary monster that's uh, attacking and screaming in, you know, unfamiliar language. Two down. Yeah, girl. You the bomb. I know, right? Can I ask you something? Yeah, girl. I just don't get why you never told me we were going to end the world until that bard was around. It's it's not that it's bothering me, heh. I was just curious. It's complicated. Sorry you found out in such a lame way. Hey, Torgo! I'm not really supposed to tell the hero that until, like, the very end. Because it's hard for normies to understand why it's important. Normies? You know, like, mortals? Your planet being doomed is kind of sad. But we're clear on the path for a new, better universe. Hey, I completely get it. Nothing normie about me. Someone has to stop the spread of the Overseer's corruption. And kill them before they all become horrible monsters. May as well be me, right? That's why you're the hero. Yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. We're a team, right? So anything that you tell that bard, you can tell me too, right? Noted. Alright, well, I'm out. I'll hit you up later, okay? Now we're at Act 4. <laughs> March of the Happy Factory. Hey, Lil B. Cool if I call you that? Lil B? Yeah, we're not having any of it. Still mad, huh? You lied to me. You said I could save the world. You never really believed in me. The Earth Song doesn't even work. It could work. It just never has. Learning it is more than going around collecting stuff. It's like all spiritual whole world in harmony type stuff and that that part is really hard it gets depressing watching people try and fail to save their world I've seen it play out so many times why do you even care 
Because I like you. And even though I didn't think you'd make it, you proved me wrong. You're special, Lil B. I'm done not believing in you. Even if Audrey's the hero. I don't think I want to see her again. Yeah, she can be a little intense. But she's actually really cool. If you two hung out more, you'd totally love her. Trust me. Okay, I'm gonna get back to her now. Why don't you get at least get out of bed? Don't give up, Lil B. It's seven in the morning. Yeah, we're, we're to the sad part of the game. Oh, ho, ho. Hello, Muffin. Hi, Mom. You're finally out of your room. And you look terrible. Are you going out with that look on your face? I don't know. Well, don't. You'd look so much cuter with a smile. Ah, yes, the pained smile of pretending you're not terribly depressed. That's more like it. Your friend Miriam wanted to speak to you. She said she'd be outside of town. Why don't you go find her? I'm glad to have you home after so long. But you've really been sticking around. Get some fresh air. Your friend Miriam said she'd be outside of town. You're so charming with a smile on your face. Now go find Miriam. Okay, I get, I get it, I get it. I'll go find Miriam. Good morning! How are you doing today, friend? Ha ha! Why, I'm glad you asked. I'm Happy Kid, the newest toy sensation. The latest and greatest from Mr. Baron. Produced at the Factory of Smiles, the Happy Factory. Get a Happy Kid and you can have a friend just like me. You don't know Happy until you know Happy Kid. Buy your happiness today at participating stores. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> -ha. Have a happy, happy day, friend. Haha! -ha. Happy, happy, friend. That's how I'm feeling. Get your own happy kid, and you can feel it too. What a lovely day. I love walking around Chismas. Chismas. I'm trying to say that and not stumble over it and say something very clumsy. Spreading my happy happy to everyone. Chismas is the happy kid where happy kid all started after all. Happy kid is Mr. Baron's gift to the world. Ha ha! Happy happy! Happy kid. <laughs> so let's go find Miriam. She's gotta be around here somewhere. We can hang out on the bench and pass time if we want. There's a diner, there's a doggy, there's a person. Oh, ice to meet you. It's pretty cold outside, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna find Miriam and not talk to every human we pass on the street because, uh, yeah. Oh, we're back here. Okay. Maybe I ran the wrong way? Oh, no, it's just a big old circle. Okay. I'm in charge of making sure everyone gets their mail. Rain or shine, there's snow away. I'll miss a day. I'd never let her that happen. Because I'm no flake. Okay, I'll chill out with the puns. <laughs> There we go, outskirts. Follow the arrows next time. Can't deal with you. <laughs> hey, Miriam. Well, looky who it is. Finally done with all your moping? No. Oh. What brings you out here? Think you might be ready to meet the next overseer? 
There's an overseer here? Uh, yeah. You're standing right at the nexus point. Oh. So we just need the overseer song. I already figured that out. I got a lot done while you were busy being useless. Oh. It's the lullaby your mom used to sing you. I already know that song. Yeah, total plot twist, I know. So I just have to sing it. That's what I'm saying. Ready when you are. No, looks like we're too depressed to sing still. Like we're trying. Even the background music's discordant and, uh, confused. didn't work. Ugh. I was afraid of this happening. The nexus point is blocked. It's all these disgusting clouds in the sky. Guess I wasn't useful after all. Don't be like this right now. The smog is definitely coming from the factory. We have to find a way to shut it down. Oh, come on. Stop looking at me like that. Seeing you like this is making me mad. I, for one, am not gonna sit around while the hero prances around killing overseers. So get back in there, and help me figure out how to shut down the factory. It kinda smells, too. This town is grody. This part of the game makes you think of Little Inferno. Yeah, it's got some vibes of that. There has to be some way to stop the factory. Come on, go figure it out. This is an interesting part of the game, too, because they were playing around with, like, like, there's a time, and you know, characters follow schedules. Hi, you. Well, you're not happy. This town sucks. It's too cold and full of smog. And that stupid factory is always running. Nobody understands. Have you seen that cute, the cute little doggy that wanders around town? She's all alone, just like me. I try to pet her every night at 9.30 p.m. Right in front of the clock tower pub. But she won't let me! Even a lonely dog won't be my friend. What do I do to make her like me? My life is completely aimless. Go work in the factory, everyone says. Well, maybe I don't wanna! I feel that. There's nothing in this world for me. Every night at 9.30 p.m., I try to pet the stray dog by the clock tower pub. What do I do to make her like me? So, yeah. Clearly that is a quest point or something. Oh, hi, it's the doggy. Doesn't mind me petting her. Arf. Let's hop into the pub. Let's see who's around. The factory here determines the schedule of everything. The flow of people in and out during the day and night. It's the lifeblood of this city. This is a city of sad and lost spirits. They march in line as if driven by machinery. To see a new face here is a pleasant change. Some say the Baron of the factory is an evil man. But I once knew him as kind and gentle. That was a long time ago. And you just don't have any dialogue. Okay. Hey, welcome to, like, the gift house. We have, like, all the greatest toys for sale here. I'm not interested in buying. Including Happy Kid, the most popular toy ever. Produced right here in the factory. Woo! Take Happy Kid home with you today and put a smile on your family's face. Or whatever. Happy kid, it's just like pure joy in the form of a kid. 
Wow, buy it. Everyone loves Happy Kid. Everyone wants to be Happy Kid. Become one with Happy Kid. Not distressing at all. It's fine. Hey, Miriam. Sheesh, it's cold out here. Any progress on shutting that factory down yet? I can tell you rumors about town and stuff. Not like I have anything else to contribute. Apparently there's an astronomer outside of town. They have a big telescope. So who knows what kind of stuff they know, right? Maybe you should try finding them. I'll just keep wandering around here. Everyone's a critic. Fancy themselves pundits. Guess I'm just pushing the envelope. I think it's just an endless source of puns. You know, it was always cold here, but the factory made it even colder. The smog blocks out the sun. It's one hail of a problem. <laughs> yeah, I think I think if you just keep talking to her, that's yeah. Welcome to Beth Steiner. Open sigh. Twenty four hours a day. You want some grub? Nah. Let's go talk to the astronomer, assuming they're around. Nobody here. Nope, nothing. Okay. So yeah, this is where the schedule part of the game comes in. People are only around, I think, at certain times of day. So maybe, maybe we'll go make crying dude... Well, it's going to be too late for that now. I was going to say at 9.30, but... Try to figure out how to make crying dude happy, but... Let's go see if there's anyone else we can talk to. We can climb roofs anyway. Oh, hey, Mask. Well, hey now, Wanderer. It's been some time. What are you doing here? Hmm. I don't know. I think it's invigorating to move around early in the day. What do you think, Wanderer? I know a special place in the forest past the telescope, that place we were literally just at. And if you're there right when the sun rises at 7 a.m., well, maybe I won't say. You should discover it for yourself. Times are tough here. You can feel the sadness in the air. But me, I'm just chillin'. Heh. Do you get it? Chillin'? It's because it's cold. You must be really down, Wanderer. I know a special place. Yeah, 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 okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll head that way once it gets a little bit uh, later, earlier. Then we'll see what else is around. Because I really don't remember where anything is here. It's been a very long time since I've played this. I mean, if nothing else, it looks like we're circumnavigating the town via the rooftops. Hi, there's a person up here. So, you found me. Drawn in by my sorrowful music, were you? No, I was just running on roofs. It's no show. I play from the heart. I play for a city, its heart replaced with machinery. Cold is the snow that falls upon it. And for love, unrequited. Cannot bear to face her, but I have written my feelings in this letter. Please deliver it to her. She stands in front of the factory every day, from 11:30 a.m. to 6:30 p.m. 
I know, because I can't take my eyes off her. And I don't even know her name. Oh, girl in front of the factory from 11.30 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Oh, roof shortcut. Yay. Okay, well, we have a letter. Um. Hi, doggy. I was once friends with the Baron. He left his life behind when the factory grew. He must be very old now. What is that guy doing? He's, he's stuck, I think. The air is so brisk and putrid. By day, the workers march into the factory, and by night, to my pub. Such is the clockwork of this city. Can, can I help you, bro? Oh, there's somebody else here tonight. Well, ain't you just a little sweetheart? Something to drink, hon? Like, juice? No. <laughs> Life's stressful here. Folks come here to relax after a long day. Well, except that one guy. The whiner who's always crying. He ain't worked a day in his life, I think. Still comes here to relax, though. Can't imagine what's stressing that slacker out. You seen that one stray dog around town? She sleeps outside here every night. Sad, ain't it? Wish she had a friend. So, yeah. Let's see if we can get to the, uh, place by seven. Because it's two hours and we don't move fast. Yeah, we're probably going to be late. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be late. Well. Yeah, we'll have to come back next morning. It's fine. We will deliver this letter to whomever is standing outside of the factory at 11.30 in the morning. you want? Well, I have this letter for a girl standing here at this time. So it's for me. <laughs> I guess so? What is this? This is... Gross! Oh, I've got an answer alright. Take this back to him. <laughs> the heart's replaced with a skull. And don't read it. Never gotten a letter like that before. Ugh. Find the guy who wrote me that letter and give him that back. Here you go, friend. Enjoy your letter with a skull on it. Um, I have a letter for you? From her? Yeah. This is... Amazing! What? She's agreed to meet me! Oh, wait. 
She also said, don't tell the weird bard. That's definitely me. Alas, already I have broken a promise. But what is a love that doesn't know second chances? Um, every moment without her is pain. I await our meeting with continued sadness. Though, slightly less sadness than before she agreed to meet me. And grumpy. Hmm, yep. And easily annoyed. True. She is perfect. <laughs> Factory has infected the very heart of the city. Its darkness is suffocating. My heart cannot bear this weight to see her. Tonight. Nope, oh, out of out of things to say. Okay. Okay. So maybe we should stop by the pub around 9.30. Oh, hey, sweet, sweet, street sweeper. Well, hello there. I'm the street sweep, don't you know? Been out late as me, you see some funny stuff. Like that astronomer from out of town, eh? She goes to Beth's diner every night at midnight. Only time she's ever in town, don't you know? Wonder what's keeping the, the astronomer up so late. She's not one to stop and chat, don't you know? She's only got eyes for her telescope. Or Beth's diner. Okay, good to know. Hey, Winston. Yeah, 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 okay. Hi, puppy. <laughs> I guess, oh, okay, that's the guy who lights the lamps. Doggy wants food. Doggy's hungry. What do you want from me? Food. You want food. So I'll probably have to take care of that tomorrow night because it's already after 10, but we could probably make it to the diner by midnight. Actually, we can probably get food at the diner. Killing time! Oh, does time not pass when I'm in a building? Okay. I have to wait outside. Oh, hey, look. Person. Hi. Hello. I haven't seen you around town before. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alara, the astronomer. I've been observing some interesting celestial activity. The stars. One by one, they're going out. Unfortunately, with the factory smog output, I can't see flapping whizbats in the sky anymore. Pardon my language. So I can't continue my research on that phenomenon. Instead, I've taken to watching the town. Plotting. Sutterfuge. I can see you don't have much to say, so I'll just keep talking. I figured out how one could shut down the factory. I just need a cohort. A cohort? Um, an accomplice? Why an accomplice? I could explain if you're interested in doing it. Why should I? Hmm, maybe you shouldn't. It could be very dangerous. Eh, I'll do it. Whoa, seems reverse psychology works after all. I'm impressed. Nobody's taken me up on this yet. We need people on the inside to help us. We'll have to recruit them from the people of this town. Specifically, people who are awake during the day but unemployed. I need your help to find them since I live nocturnally. 
If we gather three such people, we can infiltrate the factory and use this diner as a nightly meeting spot. Good luck. So clearly one of the people is going to be the crying person, but I'm going to just like go wait by the thing so that we can um maybe get get our dance. Drink more tea. I'm going to lose my voice with this game. I love it, but there's so many people to talk to. So I think it will probably be better to wait outside of here. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Imprecise controls. We'll just hang out here. we go okay <laughs> there we go hey now wanderer you did good finding me here do you feel it this place it's got this vibe going on it's trying to tell us something it's telling us it's time to dance relax wanderer let the dance in You got a new dance! Beautiful dance, Wanderer. Carry it with you on your journey. Show the world the dance that lives inside you. Whee! Okay. Probably go find Miriam and talk to her. She should be back in front of the factory soon. Hi, doggy. I don't suppose you want to overthrow the factory, do you? <laughs> I could pass some time. Let's see. Multiples of two hours. Yeah, that's good. Beat's just sitting here staring at the screen. Hi, Miriam. Well, anything? I met an astronomer from here. She wants to shut down the factory, too. Perfect. So what do I blast? Huh? She's a scientist, right? So she knows where to hit to knock the, out the whole system. What do I blast? We aren't blasting anything. Oh. We're gonna get sad people from around town. And mess it up from the inside. Oh. Okay. I liked my plan better, but I guess we'll do it yours instead. Well, let me know. If you want to hear rumors from around town, or something. Not like I have anything else to do. Sad guy on the roof by your house, you know, constant playing music, yep, yep. Sad roof guy seems your type, all musical and mopey. Okay, okay, you're only going to tell me about sad roof guy, okay.
You want to help overthrow the factory? Oh my, what a question. But I'm quite busy with the mail, as you can see. Sorry to stamp out your dreams. I tried to letter you down easy. <laughs> Roof shortcut. Hey, bro. Hey. Wanna help overthrow the factory, maybe? Yes. We have meetings in the diner every night. I will be there. Hi, Mom! Hey, Mom. Do you want to help overthrow the factory? That sounds like fun! But your mama is too tired for that kind of action. Those days are behind me, Muffin. You'll have to find some other friends to help you. Good luck. Come home to rest? That's a splendid idea. Sorry, I can't stay, but good to know I can take a nap. Your mama misses you already. I just fell through the stairs. It's cool. I did it on purpose. I actually did do it on purpose, but I didn't think it would work. So let's see. If we go... I guess we should uh, help, help dog dog person. Might have been faster to run the other way now that I think about it. Hey, do you want to help overthrow the factory? Do I look crazy to you? Don't involve me in whatever this is. I've got a diner to run. But, good luck. See that stray dog around town? Sad thing, isn't it? It's outside here every morning for people to feed it. You want some grub? Yeah! Go ahead and, and empty seat and eat it. Food. Let's get some more. Stay on the same two walls, say the same thing to the same people. You want some grub? Yeah, we'll take it with us. Now we wait. <laughs> Hi, lamp person. likes it. Hand it over. Please. Here you go. We. We're friends now! <sighs> I forgot what this felt like. Cool. Also, do you want to help me shut down the factory? You mean the factory that ruined this whole town? And took all the jobs? So that I had no choice but to make Happy Kid? Or be alone forever? Yeah, I think that one. Yes, I will help you. Doggy friend, we meet at the diner every night.
Hi, Winston. Look, I have a friend now. I'm still thinking of a name for her. What should we name the doggy? We can name the dog after ourselves. Or we've got a lot of names here. Oh, I need water. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to pick one. Let's name the dog Terra. Cool. Yeah, we could, we, 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 yeah. We, we named the dog Terra. <laughs> oh, right. Time doesn't pass in here. Hello, people. The factory must be taken down for the good of everyone. Just require one more recruit. May be able to provide some intelligence on who to look for, if you like. I've devised a name for our little group of comrades. The Astronomers. See above the trappings of this machine city to a factory-free future. The people of the city must be free of the factory. We, the Astronomers, can see the path to that destiny. Hmm. I've never been part of a club before. I'm trying to play it cool so that nobody hates me. Well, that's a mood. The astronomer seems so smart. I didn't think she we could actually shut down the factory, but meeting her made me believe it. Cool. Let's pass some time. See, it's one. We should probably talk to Miriam, so let's say 10 hours. Just took a nap on the bench, it's cool. I don't know where Miriam is. Hi, person I haven't talked to yet. Well, hi there. You look young and able. Hee hee. Wanna work a shift in the factory today? Well, no, but I haven't done that yet, so why not? Oh, goody. Come right this way. Here at this factory, we make Happy Kid. It's the happiest kid of all and everyone's favorite toy. You could say we're like a big happy family, hee hee. Yeah, you're not terrifying. It's cool. Hee hee, I'm so excited. You'll have a great time working here, I just know it. Just a bit farther now. <laughs> Here we are! Isn't it wonderful? Modern machinery working in perfect harmony. It fills me with such joy. Well, let me show you what your job is. First, take a piece of coal from this pile. Second, throw it into the furnace. And repeat. Can you remember that? 
got it. Okay, make us proud. <laughs> so yeah, if you want, you can totally just work shifts of a factory. Why they didn't put the coal pile closer to the thing you're throwing it in, I have no idea, but... Or at least giving you a wheel wheelbarrow. The, the laughter every time you successfully throw a piece of coal in is a little unsettling. That's it! Your shift is done. Now let's see how you did on the prize screen! <laughs> and the the puns on the uh, levels, the little engine that cold, sweet heat. <laughs> Call me maybe. Like this is just like the pun world, I think. Wow, great job! I know you're dying to stay and work forever, but a good worker needs rest. Come back tomorrow. Yeah. I don't actually know where Miriam is. I was gonna talk to her, but I can't find her. Am I gonna be punished for my word crimes? I just can't stop. Nope, now you're down here, okay. It's Miriam with my mother? Yep, there she is. Your friend has been here all day. Not that I mind the company, but I think something has upset her. Need help finding people to shut down the factory? Just one more. Hmm. You're on your own with this one. I can't think of anyone. Everyone in this lousy town already has a job. What about you? What? No. Come on, Miriam. What? Why can't you help us? Why me? Because you're the only one left! <laughs> that sounded bad. Yeah. Real flattering. Glad to be your last resort. You know, this used to be my adventure. Just me and Grandma Safi. But ever since you showed up, somehow I never get to do anything anymore. Even though I'm the one with the magic powers. How do you think that feels? She probably thinks I'm useless. She trusted me so little, she asked you to help me. And then, you basically proved her right. How do you think that feels? I, well, I think I know how that feels. Like when I found out someone else was the hero. It made me feel so pointless. I don't belong on an adventure. Yeah, except you're obviously useful. You sing us through every problem. You're obviously useful. You can fly, and you always know what to do next. Somehow, hearing that from you doesn't make me feel better at all. Me neither. But that's why we gotta do this. Together. We gotta prove that we aren't useless. We can't do it if we don't try. Okay, fine. 
I'll help. This time. I'll see you at the nighttime diner meeting. Your mom reminds me of Grandma Safi. It's nice. I kind of miss her. Yeah, yeah, I'm on your team now or whatever. I'll go to your nightly meetings and stuff. But the point's still to shut down the factory, right? Wonder what'll happen to this town if we actually do it. The factory is the center of everything. Sheesh. My back's all tense from walking in this stupid cold. Let's get out of here soon. Come home to rest? Nah, because by the time I get to the factory or to the uh, diner, it'll already be midnight. Trying to shut down the factory, Muffin? Who? what would your father think? It's very lonely here, you know? Your friend is rude. But it makes her so cute. But we're smiling again for real. So that's nice. No, we're going to the diner, not the pub. Just sweeping, doing the old graveyard shift. Looks like something's keeping you up too, eh? Right, right, time doesn't pass when I'm in here. I keep forgetting that. So this is the secret meeting, huh? How are these bozos gonna shut down the factory? These people are enslaved by machinery. Well, we'll stop the factory and establish a new order. That is a bit more than what I had in mind. The people of the city must be free of the factory. Yep, yep, okay. I hope Tara is okay outside. All right. Aha, you've done it. We have a suitable number of recruits for our subterfuge. Yes, soon the factory will fall. And the city shall be free from the shackles of industry. Yeah, haha. -ha. So, all we need to do now is take up jobs in the factory. We have to destroy it from within. Or at least disrupt its basic order. If we take up positions on the factory floor, we can work together to do that. I'm excited. It will be the dawn of a glorious new day. Comrades, let's join together and lead the city into the light of a factory free world. Yeah, haha. -ha. That may be going a bit too far, but I appreciate the enthusiasm. All the pieces are gathered. The plan is ready to go into motion. Tomorrow, enter the factory. I'm beyond eager to resume my research. The star is vanishing. What could it mean? I I have a hunch. Just, just a little one, you know. Hi, Miriam. Everyone here seems all depressed or nerdy. And now I'm one of them. Okay, but, you know, depressed and nerdy is kind of like everybody I know, so it's not a bad thing. Alright, let's go chill out on a bench. Eight hours. to keep up with Miriam's walking speed. <laughs> it's actually with the uh the like little joystick it's actually kinda hard, but and now she's yeah, way ahead of me. Okay. to go. Let's do this thing. 
Hi, creepy person. Hi, Elmer. Want to work a shift in the factory today? Yeah, let's do this. Oh, goody. Come right this way. Fortunately, we don't have to go through all of that creepy dialogue again. Hey, here's our crew. Good luck in there. We've all got your back. Ever since you showed up, my life's gotten so much better. You gave us direction, a sense of purpose. For this, you have my thanks. Yeah, thanks. Now we descend into the belly of the beast and claim this city back from the clutches of this dark machinery. Yeah, what he said. Somehow we all got jobs. I thought they'd never want me. You came off really strong when you asked. It was pretty weird. Your pathetic begging was a wonderful cover. It had so much passion. They didn't suspect a thing. I thought it was creepy. I was pretty sure that guy wasn't going to let us in. Enough sap already. We have a job to do. Or not do. <laughs> Somehow we all... Oh, no, no. I know this. I know this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fixing it with music. Nope, I did that wrong. Yay, stairs! That's helpful. Can I talk to him? Um, excuse me, but you are completely out of place. Get back to your post at once! You're not the boss of me. I'm laughing, but this isn't funny at all! You are disrupting the order of our factory! Stop it this instant! Listen to me! You are going to get in very much trouble if you don't. Maybe trouble is my middle name. Oh, hey, look at you. You got the violin. There we go. You've got a horn. Running out of people. Okay. Wait, I hear somebody. Excuse me, you, Rapscallion, you've caused quite the disruption. Mr. Baron will want a word with you. Now move right along to his office. Make me. Well, I actually know that's what I want, so... Hi, 
Hi, Elmer. Mr. Baron is just up these stairs. Hee <laughs> hee, you must be so excited. We've never seen such a ruckus before, but don't you worry too much. Mr. Baron can be very kind. Hee <laughs> hee. Hee hee. Hello. Here. So ho ho. You're the one who disrupted my factory. I'm very disappointed in you. When we allow someone to work here, we are making them part of our family. Why would you let this family down? Because we want you to shut it down. Shut down the factory? Yes. How could you even suggest that? Ever since I started this business, I've worked tirelessly to bring joy to people. And Happy Kid is my greatest work. It's the best toy. It brings smiles to everyone. Why would you want to take that away from the world? Do you hate joy? If you think Happy Kid brings joy, then you don't know what joy is. Everyone in the city is hurt by the factory. It's big and noisy and smelly. Nobody even likes Happy Kid. It's just a toy. But our lives are ruined making it. It brings no joy at all. Oh. It's done. What? I shut down the factory. Just like that? All I wanted was to bring joy to people. I thought Happy Kid was finally the answer. But I can see that it's not. Perhaps in my absence, the world changed. Or I did. But whatever the reason, if my factory isn't doing its job anymore, I have to reconsider its purpose. All of you, leave the way you came. I have a lot to think about. To think that all these years, the dream I was working toward, it wasn't successful. That's hard. Maybe it's time I took a break. You can go. I have a lot to think about here. I'm angry, but also relieved. Angry to be told my toys didn't create joy, but relieved that they, there were those who would tell me. I must deeply rethink what it is I'm doing. Hi, I'm on your desk. Okay. No more dialogue. It still kind of smells out here. But, hey, you did it. The factory's finally shut down. I totally believed in you and stuff. And I totally believed in you, Miriam. Okay. I'll be waiting outside of town. When you're ready to go see the Overseer, come meet me. Tara is the best! I still have no job and no life. But having a friend makes it a little more okay. I bring Tara everywhere now. Well, except inside the diner. She gets frisky. Are you going to be there tonight? Well, no, because our planning meeting is done, but... You know. I want to talk to everybody, but I also want to stop talking for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. I must stay sharp while the factory is closed. I have a feeling new construction is on the way. If the Baron was strong enough to build such a great factory, then perhaps it's my turn. Haha, -ha, I'm fired up. For the record, I don't think the Baron literally bu built the factory with his bare hands. I speak of his strength and will, and business acuity. Strength comes not just from muscles. 
the Baron was strong. Okay, yeah. Yep, yep. Hey, Tanya. Factory boys are scrambling now that it's shut down. But it's good, you know? We all need a change. Maybe now we can put that energy into making something actually useful. Just an idea. I spent every day wishing it would happen. But I never dreamed it actually would. Happy Kid is dead. That's a real happy happy. It's like a veil's been lifted. I'm free of that stupid head. I can do anything now. I have no idea what to do, actually. I think it's time for some kind of adventure. Gotta got to sow ca some chaos back into my life. Do the things I always wanted to do. I've had this idea for a book kicking around in my head. Maybe I'll finally start that. <laughs> Let's talk to everybody, it's fine. I hear the factory shut down. I wonder if your father might finally come home. Does this mean you're leaving again, Muffin? Doohoo, what an adventurer. But your mama will miss you. Never be afraid to come back home, okay? I'm sorry if I was ever a little rude. So I just want to see you shine. Nope, nothing. Okay. there's anyone else around to talk to before I, you know, idly stand outside the diner. Factory stop running, don't you know? Big changes are coming to Chismas. I can feel it. I can breathe outside again, so I'm happier already. I moved here when the factory got big, like plenty of folks. More people means dirtier streets, don't you know? It's closed. Yeah, it's night. Oh, hey, Vlad. So, the factory is no more. Perhaps the Baron's heart did change. It's as if a curtain has been lifted, and the infernal machine switched off. Is freedom truly better? Now we will see. wonder what's become of the Baron. If he sets foot outside of that factory, it will be the first time in years. Hey Beth, so the factory's done, huh? For some reason, that gives me a feeling of hope. Everything here has been the same for so long, but maybe things can change after all. Maybe today, I'll go home and soak my feet. So, the factory is no more. But my love, she is leaving too. Sigh. Good news never comes without the bad clothes close behind. The time we, sh we shared was short, and not particularly loving. Perhaps she never really did love me, but I will treasure our time together nonetheless. With the factory gone, the spirit of this town is free once more. New hope can spring. Perhaps even for me. Okay, yeah, I've read this dialogue already. I've finally been able to observe the sky again, and it's as I feared. The stars are disappearing, but I can't find a reason. Again, I think I know why. Well, the universe is ending. I suppose that is one possible explanation, but I don't like that one. Don't blame ya. When you say the universe is ending, I mean, what makes you say that? Because it is. I met an angel in my dreams who told me all about it, and I've been visiting the spirit world. Meeting magical animal creatures teaching me a song? So I could save the world. This is all sounding highly unscientific. You don't believe me about the universe ending? No, I believe you. As a scientist, it's my job to question everything. But also, screw that. How does one enter the spirit world? 
I have to sing a special song in a special place. Hmm. A coded sequence of vibrations. Perhaps linking our dimension to the vibrations of another? Creating a brief bridge between worlds. Hmm. Nope, pretty sure it's just special and magic. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Even in the eye of science, we see that all things are connected. Particles colliding with particles, effects rippling into infinity. All that we observe follows naturally from all that came before. When you help others and create happiness, that positivity ripples out too. And makes an objectively better world. So keep singing. It's good. Well, good luck on your spirit journey. I'll keep observing what I can here. Perhaps I'll find something useful to save to saving us. And I think no. Oh. oh, yeah, same, same, same. You just you just repeat the same dialogue over and over. Back when I first opened the diner, I loved it. I need to have that feeling again. Maybe you should close once in a while or get some help so you're not here all day. That'd be good. Seems like a good plan. So it seems like you're kind of being a little unsustainable with your workflow there. The nexus point is called the annual lights. They're nice, right? Now hurry up and sing so we can meet the overseer. You want to leave with me? Yes. Um, but aren't you... I mean, aren't you gonna miss the sad roof guy? Who liked you? No. It's not even like that. He's just a friend, okay? I can't believe we're talking about this. Just sing the song already. Okay, now I actually have to use both hands for the game. This time, I'm gonna stand right here next to you. Hitch a ride into the spirit world. What's it usually like in there anyway? The one time I went was after Queen Chaos died, so it was all dark and empty. Usually it's all magical and full of puzzles. Huh. Well, perfect. This time I'll help you out. I could probably blow us through that stuff instantly. Well, okay. Um, hello? Miriam? She's not here. Navigating this one's actually really hard. <laughs> Going to assume don't land on the buzz saws, yep. Gosh, 
gosh. Nope. Almost had it. And move time forward and backwards, it looks like. Or. jump between them. That's... Oh, hey! Welcome, Raiders! Hiya! Hi, Wandering Wolf! How are you? It's been a while. Hiya! Hi, Dolan! Doing what you can, yeah. I. Uh, let's see. <laughs> hey, uh. See, I actually don't remember where I need to go from here. Okay. Well, I am definitely set in going in this direction now. Oh, I love this game. It's great. So we just shut down a factory, and now we are traversing through the uh, order-themed uh, spirit world. And it's, yeah, it's, it's a little tough. It's cool. Again, I don't really know where I'm supposed to go here, so... Oh, I'm supposed to go through here. Duh. Okay. Yeah, it was fun hanging out. Let's see. Uh, we want to go... Nope, we want to go the other way. Up, 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 up. Okay. And then the other way... Nope, let me through. Let me through. Yep. Well, I'm only bringing in dangerous stuff. Cool. Nope, let me in. Let me into the safe spot. Nope, 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 nope. That, that was saws. It's a very good thing that there's not actually a life system in this game. <laughs> There we go. Yes! Got it. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, I, I, I really, really like chill games. Um, do I want to go up or do I want to go down? I think they're giving me the option to change it. I probably want to go down. Nope, that was incorrect. It was correct the first time. games that are more of an experience than they are like a challenge like there's some tricky spots in here but like nope that was saws like this kind of stuff's a little tricky but no harm done if I screw up Come on, over the thing over the thing See, you enjoy games for the challenging, yeah. Yeah, this is very chill on the couch kind of stuff. Um, Like, it, it kind of alternates bef between more, like, you've got this, which is kind of action-y, but then, like, the, there's the other parts where, like, you're just talking to people and figuring out, you know, what problems you can help solve. Action-y, yeah. Am I wrong? <laughs> yeah. So, like, here we're, like, messing with the tempo of, like, the stuff that's going on in order to, uh, like, help us proceed. We can pause it. Nope. <laughs> Almost had it. Too fast. D <laughs> 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 
not unsettling at all. It's cool. Nope, okay. It's gotta get that rhythm down, I think. <laughs> Made it, okay. Oh, I made it faster! I lived! Okay. <laughs> Hey, we made it to the castle. It's cool, I didn't need a functioning um stick anyway. <laughs> Dedicated dance button. Best part of the game, really. Hello. Are you here to see Her Highness Queen Order? Yup. Is she here? Well, of course. She's just ahead in the throne room. Oh, great. Then I'll just go on ahead. Wait, just a second there. Do you have an appointment? Um, no. Hmm. Well, that isn't going to work. We'll have to schedule one. Oh, no. I'll need to ask you a few questions. What's the purpose of your visit? I need to learn the Earth Song. Ah, I'm um, sorry, that's not one of the options. Is your purpose personal or for business? Personal? Okay. How big is your party? Have you seen Miriam? Um, no, sorry, I have not. So should I put you down as one? Make it two. Okay, two people. Why can't I just go see her? Well, that's against the rules here, bucko. We're almost done. How do you take your tea? Uh, black. Great, black tea. Okay, that's all the questions. Oh, great. Can I go see her now? Not yet. You need to wait in line. In line? Yes. Where's the line? It's here. Now, wait. We could dance along to the music. No, it, it actually will not let me move. <laughs> we have to wait. <laughs> yeah! No, they're seriously, like, you just you dance literally anytime you want. It's great. In the middle of a serious dialogue with a character, you can break out the dance button. And one of the things you do throughout the game is collect new dances. That's great. Nice, it's your time to see her now. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> What's going on here? Your Highness, Queen Order. Why aren't you seated at your throne? We, we have a visitor here and you're completely out of place. See for yourself, darling. Oh, it's the Dream King! Oh, my goodness. What is he doing here? 
this is so improper. So you're an overseer? Mm, yes. Huh. You seem so normal. All the other overseers were like magical animals. Humans are animals, darling. Oh, yeah, I guess. You know, at this precise moment, I'm supposed to be having my tea. Little Order has such a way of getting himself distracted. One moment, please. Dream King. <laughs> hey, Order. Why have you come to my castle? The hero came by mine to kill me, and I kinda wasn't feeling it. So you ran away. I guess. That's a way to put what I did. You could also put it as, I decided to get out of the castle a bit. Come visit an old pal. Isn't this nice? How are you doing, miss? No. This is completely out of line for an overseer. We have a duty, Dream King. Yeah, yeah, I know. We're all old and corrupted. Turning into horrible monsters. Our time to go. Yada yada. But, I really don't want to die. Even if it is our job. I don't think I can do it. So, what am I supposed to do? Whoop. Oh. Now oh, there goes Queen Order. Hello, boys. And Bard. Looks like I finally found you, Dream King. Thought you could get away from me? You just delivered me a twofer instead. God, wait! Why? Why are you doing this? Just let the Overseers live. The world doesn't have to end. Don't be ridiculous. If we let them live... We'll enter an age of darkness. Nightmare on Earth type stuff. You can run around singing stupid songs all you want. But someone has to take charge and save us. And that someone is me. What was that? Hi, Miriam. Grumpy butt. Arr, I can't believe I was the last one to make it here. You just saved the Dream King's life, Miriam. Why are you both getting in my way? The Overseers are not on your side. I'm the hero. Literally chosen by Aya. Okay. Okay. You want it that way? You got it. Stay back! <laughs> okay. Guess we go talk to them. Your Highness. Order fairy sad. It's the natural order, but it's still sad. Sup, Dream King? Mr. Dream King, did you really give up on fighting the hero? Do I look like I want to? No, but so maybe now it's time for you to teach me the Earth Song. Oh man, you really don't get it. When overseers give up their songs, we're giving up the pure part of ourselves. Speeds up the process of becoming a monster. Basically, it's just another way for me to die. But if you do, the world will survive. Sure, with one tiny problem. Miss Hero might be a lunatic, but she was picked by Aya, and her killing me is part of the plan. Whereas you are nobody. What's the point of throwing away my life? to entrust the Earth Song, which has never been sung, to you. Because I already have two pieces of the song, and if your choice is between letting the world end or saving it, you have to pick saving, even if it's just a maybe. Or I can pick option C. Survive. Don't get killed by any heroes, or sacrifice myself for any bards. I think that is my choice. Ha-ha! No more people to talk to. Okay. Ha! Gas pant. 
I'll get you after I catch my breath. Huh. Forget about it. You losers wasted enough of my time. The Dream King already got away. I hope you're proud of yourselves. But when he goes dark and starts making problems, don't come crawling back to me. Wow, Miriam, you stood up to her. Pfft, she's not so tough. Only because you're tough as nails. I'm glad you came, Miriam. I wouldn't have made it without you. Let's get the song piece. This is kind of hard when the uh, thingy's covering the uh, pattern I'm trying to do here. But that was the last one, so... <laughs> we have gained the order piece of the song. Alright, and that starts Act 5. The War Twixt Two Kingdoms. Although I do have to stop for the night. Um, it is almost dinner time. And I should probably, you know, eat. But, let's see. Oh, no, wait, we have an emotional moment. Never mind. Yep. I was thinking. Let's get through the cutscene first. About what the hero said. Are the overseers really evil? Evil? I don't know. I hate her guts, so... Yeah, emotions first, then food. Whatever she wants, it's bad. Remember, she's just following the rules. The same rules that say she's the hero. And all the rules that say the planet is supposed to die. So if we're, to, if we're gonna save it, we have to break the rules. The Earth Song is a pretty big mystery to me and Grandma. We don't know what happened in past universes. Like, did anyone ever try to get the pieces before? Does it even work? Heck if I know. But we have to try? Yeah, that's what Grandma said. Hoo-hoo, hold on to hope, Miriam. I like your Grandma. Me too. Do you miss her? Doesn't matter. We're getting close now. I'm gonna go down. I'm tired. This looks like a good place to rest. It looks creepy. I'm tired. We're resting here. Alright. Now that we have control again, so it's saved. So, I am going to see if any of our friends are streaming. Let's see. We're going to do a quick... out the headphone cord. I think we're just gonna go raid Chameleon. Uh, she often is streaming when we are, so we do raid her a lot, but... Raid... Chameleon... If I can spell... <laughs> there we go. Let's go say hi to Cam. And I'm going to pull that up on my phone as well. So yeah, thank you everybody for hanging out. I love this game a lot. Um, admittedly, it's a lot of talking, so throat's a little little dry. Um, 
even, you know, continually drinking water. So I will see everyone next week. We will continue this. I remember that this chapter is pretty long. So next stream might just be this chapter. Well, we will find out. So yeah, I will catch everybody later.